I just got exclusive early access to Love Arm, the AI design agent that claims it could handle everything from logos to full brand identities in a fraction of the time and cost of a traditional design team. In this video, I put it to the test to see how legit it actually is. Real quick, if we haven't met, my name is Brock and on this channel, I teach AI for non-techies. I show you all the new developments in the AI space and break it down so even non-technical people can stay ahead of the game. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is Love Arm. I'm really excited because I got early access to this so I could showcase it to you guys. And I'm really excited to show you what it could do because I've had some fun playing around with it. But this is what the user interface looks like. You can see that we have this prompt here or we have this prompt box where we're able to actually write in kind of what we're trying to build. And then it takes us to a canvas-like user interface where we could drag and drop different elements. And as you can see, we could first of all see the different things people have created. But let me go ahead and begin playing around with this. Actually, before I go ahead and play around with this, I just want to quickly talk about how fun of a time it really is to be an entrepreneur because one singular AI tool can now give us all we need to actually start and launch a business going from idea to actually coming up with product mock-ups and marketing materials. So what a fun time. I just want to preface this to be an entrepreneur. And on this channel, I cover kind of different ways you can take advantage of AI, such as platforms like Love Art. So let's go ahead and get into our demo here. All right. So here's the initial prompt that I'm actually going to give to our Love Art agent. And basically it says, create a brand identity for an AI powered platform platform that helps content creators brainstorm, organize, and launch their ideas, come up with a catchy name, design a logo, select a vibrant color palette, and show mockups for a website, mobile app, and branded merchandise like stickers and mugs. The style should feel energetic, modern, inspiring, perfect for creative minds. So this is the prompt we're going to give it. You can see obviously what we're aiming for here. We're trying to create an AI platform for content creators because that would be beneficial to me. And it's going to go ahead and craft everything from the logo to the name to kind of the different color palette we're going to use and even create mock-ups for different websites and mobile apps that we could use in order to get a sense of, you know, where do we want to go with our marketing and our, you know, brand identity for this company that we want to launch. All right. So one of my favorite things about Love Art that I've really been enjoying so far is the fact that it actually takes you through step-by-step -step while crafting our brand identities and our different assets here. So right now it's basically requesting, would you like to see inspiration images first, or shall I create visual identity designs directly based on your requirements? So honestly, to reduce the chances of error happening, might as well just like see the inspiration images first. And then from there, I'll actually be prompted to be able to pick and choose which of these images do I like or which of them do I prefer in order to take that and run with that as opposed to just like going in blindly into all of this. And I mean, right here is pretty cool. You can see it's actually coming up with different things here. So for our inspiration, we have our modern AI platform branding, which, you know, these actually look pretty solid. It's nothing crazy, but you know, you could, you could get a sense of what we're working with here. It even shows vibrant tech logo design. This looks really cool. And then it also talks about digital platform, you know, identities. So this is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and select kind of what I'm looking for here. I'm going to click on, you know, this one. I like the way this, this platform looks, that looks great. As for the logo, I like this first one as well. Cool. You know, that looks very tech like, you know, something that we're definitely going for. And then for digital platform identity, Let's look at this. Yeah, I think that looks solid. Let's look at another one. I mean, I guess that's just kind of a logo. So I'm gonna run with these first three. I think these look pretty solid. And then let's see which of these inspiration images do you prefer? Basically, I already selected these. I don't need to select any of these. And I'm gonna say, let's run with these. I like these as a starting point. All right, and from there, Love Art's gonna begin doing the work and actually like compiling this together, I would assume. So let's see what it goes ahead and designs for us. And one thing I wanna mention while this is actually running is we have a couple things down here which are pretty awesome inside of Love Art and some of my favorite features. So we could actually click on internet search. So for example, if we want to say like, I want you to recreate, you know, the marketing style of this company, you know, that just launched or something, it has access to actually browse the internet in order to search for that, you know, those different assets there and different contexts. As well as that, we could actually come here and click on custom mode. So here are all of the different image gen and video models that our agent actually has access to. So for example, I really 
really like GPT image one, which is the 4.0 image generation. So if I only wanna use this, I could go ahead and unselect all of the other ones and let it just use ChatGPT image one, which I might do depending on the initial output here. So let's just wait for a response. And then one other thing I wanna mention is we could actually recreate a similar style. So let's say that we want to, you know, recreate something similar to like, uh, let's see, maybe for our product marketing, we wanna, you know, have this style here or, you know, any of these, honestly, we could go ahead and select that and it's going to craft all our images in that specific style, which makes it really easy if we're trying to like dial in, you know, the look and the feel we're going for, for whatever graphic we're designing, whether that's for, you know, crafting brand identity, or if that's for creating product mockups, or even doing something completely unrelated to, you know, building a brand. Maybe it's just like generating art and you want to, you know, maintain that same style. So that makes it really easy to do. Maybe we'll try that feature here in a little bit, but let's see. Now we have a request from Love Art. Which design direction do you prefer for the brand identity? So Neon Post-it Playground. Let me read through these real quickly. Something interesting off the bat here is it's writing out like a text prompt of what this would look like. I don't know, I, I can't get a visual of what this would actually look like, but I like the idea of this layered flow. So let's just run with that and you know see kind of what it gives us based on that prompt. Another thing to mention that's kind of cool here, it just helps you understand like how long this is gonna take is it actually gives you an estimated time for how long it's actually gonna take to design these different visuals. So that's a feature that you know makes it a bit easy. You know, as you can see, it's running a little bit over time here, but it kind of just gives you a sense of like, okay, here's basically how long it's going to take. All right. So that took about maybe like 25 seconds. And if I come here, it actually shows the design guidance. So this is kind of a breakdown of what it's going for. If I want to make any changes, I completely can, but it's cool that it's transparent before it actually goes ahead and generates this. But let me just go ahead and proceed with this design guidance because it looks pretty solid. So now it's thinking and it's going to begin actually, you know, building out the design now. All right. So right off the bat, here we go. It actually created these geometric, you know, kind of stacked emblems here that we could use for our logo. It looks very similar to one of the ones that we actually selected up here as inspiration. So it makes sense why it actually went ahead and created this. Let's go ahead. I think, you know, any of these look solid just to start with. Let's just go with this one and let's click on two. Okay, so now we actually have this, you know, idea flow accent here. So this is all of the colors, like the color palette that we're gonna be using. This makes sense because it matches the logo. So I think this looks solid, guys. Now we're getting a request over from our Love Our Agent. Now that we have the logo and color palette for idea flow, which derived elements would you like me to create next? So I wanna mention early on, we, you know, discussed in the initial prompt that we want to build a website, a mobile app interface, branded merchandise and whatnot. So let's go ahead. Let's move forward with the website mock-up. I'm interested to see, you know, how it'll handle this and actually generate kind of mock-up of what our website could potentially look like using this brand identity that we're actually shaping and crafting right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and pause this because in testing for this video, I had run into some issues using the Flux context here. And instead, what I want to do is actually want to use, you know, just GPT-4 image generation. So let me go ahead and click on this right here. I'm going to deselect all of these besides the GPT image one, because I've noticed that that actually gives me the best um, outputs here. So let's select that one. And then let's just say, let's move forward with option one. All right, guys. So this is actually what we got originally. Oh, looks like we actually got our app Guys, this looks super, super solid. So notice how it's using obviously the logo that we created as our brand identity. It's using all the colors in our, you know, color palette here. This looks really solid for a landing page, you know, an initial landing page for our website. Of course, we'll need to make some changes, but one thing I could already like see myself doing is going over to something like Bolt and plugging this in and just saying, help me create a landing page that looks like this and downloading this image, going over to Bolt and then actually like dragging this using that as inspiration. Curious to see what Bolt would actually come up with, but let's just play around with that and see, you know, if it's able to actually generate something good. But let's move over to our app. I mean, this looks really solid as well. It's nothing crazy, but it's just a basic breakdown of kind of what we could expect, you know, with our app. We could obviously make any changes we would like. And then also you can see our product mockups here with our different kind of logos and whatnot. I mean, it looks really, really solid. I think if you, you know, are somebody that has seen a lot of AI generated images, you might be able to tell it's generated by ChatGPT4 image gen. But guys, this is really, really good and a really good starting point. All right. So this doesn't look exactly like what we actually created inside of Love Art, but this is an idea of how you could literally take, you know, a brand identity or a mock-up that you create inside of Love Art and plug it directly into a platform like Bolt and actually make this functional. Crazy times we live in, guys. The fact that like being non-technical, not being a designer, you could actually build some amazing looking products and functional products as well. All right. So now I have an idea for us to actually generate our first piece of like potential content that 
we could actually post for marketing material. So what I did, I'm coming over to our agent and basically saying, this looks great. Now let's create an example of an image we can use for marketing. I wanna create an image of an M4 MacBook Pro 16 inch with the website image that you created for me on the screen. So I wanna use this on the screen and I want you to use this style and make it look very cinematic. So I could go ahead, I could actually search the style that I wanna use for this product mockup here. So let me come over to photography. And I honestly think it would be cool to do something like, let's see, I like this grainy film photography, but I also think this motion blur effect would actually look really cool or the hazy surreal photo. So let me click on this, this one right here. And then I'm gonna try to recreate this style. And then one thing I wanna mention, a quick little hack that I've been using is I've been using Dia browser. It's a new browser that uses ChatGPT and embeds it onto any page you're using. So for example, now has context of this page I'm looking at. So let's just say, help me optimize this prompt. So I don't need to actually paste this prompt over to ChatGPT. And this will actually help me optimize this, you know, this prompt here, instead of it just being like, you know, a basic prompt that I use, that's really not that good. So I could actually insert this prompt. So another cool thing is I could literally just insert this prompt. And now I have this entire, you know, prompt directly inside of Love Art. So let's run with that. That's just a quick little hack. And let's go ahead. Let's see what this comes up with. And guys, I'm really excited and really stoked with what we've actually built so far. We've went, you know, pretty far just in the quick, you know, time that we've had together, try to build this brand identity. And so here is our first image that I actually gave us for kind of this, you know, potential advertisement graphic. So I like it, but I think it changed this a little bit too much. Let me go ahead and try this one more time with a different style. I think it's because of the preset that I actually chose. All right, so I gave it one more prompt. You can see this is the second output here, which looks pretty solid. I think they both honestly look really good and they're great starting points. As you can see, here's a prompt that I use. And then I also try to recreate the style, which is like this grainy film-like style that you could actually see, you know, this is grainy, this is film-like. I think that looks pretty solid. You know, this is a great starting point, but I think you guys get the sense of how powerful this could be for product mockups and actually designing a brand identity. But actually taking that brand identity and, you know, keeping it consistent throughout all of the assets that we generate, such as these different images and whatnot. So let's move on to another use case that I thought was cool when playing around with Love Art. All right, so next up, what I'm gonna do for a use case of Love Art is I'm actually gonna take this illustration of this shoe right here, and I'm actually gonna turn this into a 3D rendering inside of Love Art. So let's send this off and let's let Love Art do its thing. I'm really excited to see what we could do. Imagine actually taking this sketch, generating this 3D rendering, and then from there you could actually generate a video with VO3 to actually like visualize what the shoe will look like and even create like an advertisement for the shoe before we even have that actual shoe in hand. So pretty, pretty cool, but let's see. It says it's gonna take about 15 seconds. Really excited to test this feature out. Boom, and just like that, we have our 3D model generation here. And if I click on this, it's this interactive 3D rendering that we actually created based on our initial illustration. So let me pull up the illustration just to get a side-by-side -side view. I mean, here we go. Here is the initial illustration. And then we also have the 3D rendering here, which is absolutely amazing, guys. This is so cool. And then, like I said, we could actually go ahead and do certain things with this. Like we could create a VO3 video about it. We could create different ads based on the 3D model that we generated, all that different stuff. That's what makes Love Art so cool is the ability for us to like get really creative. It kind of separates it from just like other other AI or video generation platforms, it really does allow you to have freedom in order to create things that you wouldn't be able to if it weren't for AI, unless you were like an actual graphic designer. All right guys, so here is our next use case for actually using Love Art. So I'm gonna use it to design a minimalistic Apple style toothbrush. And I then instructed it to create four images of this exact product for us to use. And then from there, we're actually gonna create a full entire website homepage for this toothbrush following the style of the Apple website. So basically we're gonna going from creating a product from scratch, turning that into a landing page for our website. And then also from there, what I'm gonna do after I finish this is I'm actually gonna generate a video advertisement with Google's VO3 that Love Art actually integrates with. And that way we have like, you know, we literally go from product to marketing material all inside of one workflow inside of Love Art. So let's give this over to Love Art. It's gonna begin crafting this up and I'll take you along throughout this process. This took a couple minutes, but look what it actually generated for us. It generated five different images of a very minimalistic toothbrush in a set. You know, this looks exactly like kind of an Apple product marketing, which is what we were aiming for. So we have multiple different shots here in different settings. Looks like this one got cut off a little bit, but that's okay. And it went ahead and our main task here was to actually get it to generate an actual landing page. And as you could see, it created a landing page for Pura. Beautiful, simple, incredibly effective. I mean, this looks really good. This looks like a, you know, Apple styled website. And there we have it. That was all generated inside of Love Art. 
in under just a couple of minutes. And we could go ahead if we wanted to and like actually change and make some edits to boom guys, just like that. Three minutes later, it actually goes ahead and creates this video for us. Let me actually take a look. Introducing Pura, beautifully simple, incredibly effective. Precision engineered from premium materials, so it's only an eight second clip, but that's because, you know, I didn't specify for it to be a longer clip, but that is Gemini VO3 inside of Love Art. We literally went from building the product right here, designing the product with 4.0 image generation inside of Love Art, took that, actually built a full landing page from it, and then it actually used the landing page as context. As you can see, it used the Pura name in the video, and it actually went ahead and built an advertisement based on all of this design that we actually created inside of Love Art. All right, so for this next use case, I'm gonna do something pretty fun and pretty cool, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and generate AI ASMR glass cutting videos like this one that you've probably seen. So if you don't live under a rock, you've probably seen these trending on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube shorts or whatever. And I'm gonna go ahead inside of Love Art and I'm actually gonna add a different spin on this. I'm gonna generate a logo from scratch for like a brand. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that into a glass cutting ASMR AI generated video using the VO3 video model that's inside of Love Art. Let's go ahead and come over here to our agent. And I'm basically just gonna say, create a logo that says AI ASMR and make them bold bubbly letters in a cool purple gradient. I'm going to ship that off to Love Art. It's going to begin doing its thing, thinking through this and let's go from there. All right. So it looks like it came up with these four different AI designs. As you can see, let's choose, let's go ahead and run with uh, this one. I think this one's pretty solid. So let me come over here, just select that. And now it's going to go ahead and, you know, generate some other images. All right. So it looks like Love Art actually took the initiative and went ahead and created a business card for us here using this logo. So that looks cool, but let's Let's go ahead now and actually generate this video, the AI ASMR glass cutting video that we were trying to go for. So let me go ahead, give a prompt and hopefully it'll generate this. Actually, before doing that, I actually wanna generate a 3D image of this logo in order for it to like have, you know, the correct dimensions for us to actually recreate that glass cutting ASMR video. So right here, I'm just gonna give it the prompt and say, generate a 3D version of the AI ASMR logo with bold bubbly letters and a cool purple gradient. There we go. So I'm just gonna run with that. All right, so here's that logo in a 3D kind of uh, generation. So I think this looks solid. Let's go ahead and now generate this video using VO3. All right, so here's the prompt that I'm gonna give it. And you could actually use this to recreate similar videos inside of Love Art. So I basically said, create an ultra realistic 4K ASMR video with VO3 of a sharp knife smoothly slicing vertically down through the center of the AI ASMR logo, which is rendered as a thick translucent purple glass sculpture lying flat on a marble countertop. The blade should cut straight through down the middle. So here we go. We, you know, have this prompt, you know, you could look through this if you want to use something very similar. I'm going to send that off to Love Art and I'm actually really excited to see kind of what this actually generates for us. One thing I quickly do want to know is Google's VO3 sometimes is slightly inconsistent. So this isn't a Love Art problem. This is, you know, it has to do with Google's actual, you know, video generator. So I'm excited to see what it gives us, but we might have to do some back and forth in order for us to get the exact output that we're looking for. But that's great because it showcases the power of Love Art and how we could actually, you know, interact with this agent to, you know, kind of craft what we want at the end of the day, instead of it just like generating it all for us. So it might give us the perfect output, like after the first try, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. So we got output number one, and this isn't exactly what we want. So we're gonna have to make some changes, but let's take a look. Cause it's, you know, pretty cool. It's a great starting point. Let's just say that. I mean, I think that's a pretty cool output, but obviously I don't think VO3 actually understood inside of our prompt what we meant by like the knife cutting down on a logo that's like laying directly on a marble surface. So let me do some back and forth and just change up the kind of dynamic of how this, you know, video is actually gonna be, you know, created and just, you know, go from there. All right, so here is my prompt. Here's the final output that Love Art actually gave us. This is really, really good. I'm really impressed with what it gave us. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as you can see, we went from generating the logo inside of Love Art to actually taking that exact same logo and generating a video with VO3 inside of this platform. All right, guys, I was lucky enough to get early access to Love Art so I could showcase it to you guys on this video. Check out loveart.ai where you can explore Love Art and start vibe designing right now. With that being said, guys, I hope you got some value from this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.